Yo, 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 it's your boy Rocky Yo coming to you live with Outside in Your City. What up, Chicago? It's your girl, the Trap Genie, and we outside about to go to Hyde Park to ask people what's going on in the music industry, what do they want to see, and tell them about the last OSF show of season two. So, come on. Shit, what's going on in that city? Come on with us, man. Yo, 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 welcome to Outside in Your City. It's your boy Rocky Yo, and I am here live with The Bird, man. Lil Bird, this is my, you say? My boy, shit, what's going on? This is my boy here. What side of the city you from? I'm out west. Out west, my boy, fellow out west here. All right, so who you fuck with on the music side? Man, I mess with a lot of people on the music side. I mess with Herb, I mess with, um, I wanna say Lucky. Uh, a lot of people don't say him. I wanna say, uh, how many artists you want me to name? Yeah. All right, now, you right, you right, top three, top three. All right, Herb, Lucky, and uh, Dirk. Herb, Lucky, and Dirk. All right, all right. Now, when it comes to this whole Dirk YB situation, how you feel about that? How you feel about that? I don't know. That's, that's a little wacky, but you know what I'm saying? They're doing it for the publicity. All publicity is good publicity. You know what I'm saying? That's wacky. So I feel like it's the publicity. They ain't really out here beef for it. They trying to get them numbers up. You know? All right. You ever heard of OSF? Nah, what's that here? All right. So, OSF, it's this open it's called open stage festival mm -hmm. it's actually a huge festival that be going on right down the street right at Hyde park over there on 53rd and lake park we actually oh, trying okay. to set the tone for what's going on in chicago chicago media chicago music and all that so we just out here canvassing the area and seeing what people want, want more in, in music and media like what do you want to see more in music I want, you know what I'm saying, I want, you know, the artists that did make it to come back, you know, look out for the up-and-coming artists, you know what I'm saying, show some love to them, you know? That's me. My boy, I, man, this is what I'm talking about. When you when you make it up, they be talking about this for the streets and then don't come back again to the you streets. Know, shit like that, that'd be crazy. Man, you know? it, was, it was a pleasure speaking to you, my boy. You, know that. you nice be to smooth out here, fellow out west here, outside yeah. of your city. July 18th, OSF, come you know on. What's up, what's up, OSF? Who am I here with? The Royal. Okay, so do you like music? Yeah, for the most part. Who's your favorite artist? Ooh. Oh, or you can do a top three of all time. My top three? Um, I'll say my top three are Lil Baby, um, G Herbo. Got voted in by all the people that we talked to today, so that's crazy. Yeah, he came a long way. He came a long way. Yeah. Have you ever seen like live music onto a concert? I went to, I just recently went to Rolling Loud in New York uh, this past September. But, um, and I was kind of like drunk for like half of it. Like, so I was like in and out. But from what I remember, it was a great time. I saw a future and it's the other one that I remember like doing for real food. Um, so what stuck out about their performances? Like what was the most memorable part of seeing them perform? Um, I think it's because I never saw Nikki perform in person before. I've always loved her. Um, future, I found them when I went to Morehouse my freshman year college and I was coming. Um, they were coming young because I was really good. Okay, but Future had fire. Yo, 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 it's your boy Rocky Yo, and we are outside in your city with DJ Scully. Scully, yo, yo, yo. This is the official <laughs> DJ for OSF. <laughs> All right, so how did you get involved with OSF? Uh, well, uh, Boo Man, uh, you know, he just 
was like, yo, I got to play. You know, I'm going to do this festival where it's like an open mic at Promontory. I'm like, that sounds lit. And it was just a very easy transition. Right. And then, you know, you know, they brought more people involved. It's just been growing. It's a beautiful thing, man. I think you know, they're really putting on for the city. So for sure. I love being a part of it. Because I ain't never even heard of anything like this. Have you yeah. ever even heard of like an open mic festival like anybody can nah, sign up to be at a nah. festival I, and I, I i like doing open mics surprisingly you know a lot of djs i feel like don't really like doing open mics because it is like a lot of you know right. a lot of stuff that goes into it right. you know a lot of djs want to play their own stuff right but um you know i've never seen anything like that. It is really unique i've never seen this much energy and like passion you know that that prize money don't hurt either. <laughs> you feel me? So it's been busting. I've been it's a blessing to be a part of, and I love it. For sure, for sure. Okay, what what would you say sets OSF apart from other concerts you've been to or other events you've been to? Uh, I would say, uh, I mean, it's a lot of things. I feel like a, you know, it's not that many events in Chicago, let alone the South Side. You know that supported hip hop artists and experimental black art and, um, you know, just, you know, all type of different, different vibes. Uh, and then I feel like, you know, shout out to the team. They really kind of pushed the boundaries of like what an open, open mic or open stage festival. I, you can't really put it in a box. You right. Know? It's, it's too off the wall. Too off the wall. It's crazy. <laughs> you never know. Like last time when they were like, okay, we're going to try this karaoke thing. I'm like, huh, let, let's see how that go. And it was a, a, a hit and people loved it. You know, I've never seen so much dancing, so much good energy, and, you know, shout out to all the sponsors, too. You know, it's just a really well put together, well oiled machine, so I'm excited to see where it's going in the future. Yeah. Us as well. All right, all right last question. Okay. What is something you want to see more of in the music industry, in the entertainment industry, media, whatever? Oh, man, that's a good question. Uh, what I want to see more of, I, I just want people to really be in it to i want them to enjoy themselves like i feel like so many people get in the industry for different like ulterior motives which is cool like you know i feel like some people want to be popular be famous be this or that make money but i really just say have fun with it like enjoy yourself it's really like therapy it's really like you know art art is so important so i really want people to be out here enjoying themselves and staying creative staying inspired um yeah that's really what i want to see man because i don't, don't fake it because it's very right. obvious <laughs> when you just up there just trying to just, get a look right you know what I'm saying? respect the craft and yeah, have fun with the craft fun. for have sure fun, man it's like that's the only way you can get the real passion out of it it's like you love it for real yeah yeah you gotta have fun with it man because i'm like this dj stuff this wasn't i mean i always want to do something with music but it's just so captivating i love it i wouldn't do anything else you know so it, it saved my life. I feel like music could do the same for so many other people. So, you know, just have fun. Enjoy it. Just enjoy this shit, you know? Just. Just enjoy this shit. You heard it. we with <laughs> DJ Scully Ali Ali. And we is outside in your city. July 18th, come through.